Hey there, YouTube. It's your boy Nunez, aka Vintage Pokemon Hunter. And as you can see here, we got in a huge lot of some older cards. A lot of these cards are showing uh, 2006, 2007, uh, 2004. So it is a bit later in Pokemon. Honestly, I, I have never seen half of these cards. I, I was not into Pokemon during this era. And I haven't really gotten into, like, learning it. So we're about to learn now because I'm about to really, like, look into these sets. I'm looking to see Crystal Guardians. Dragon Frontiers, Power Keepers, Holland Phantoms. Uh, you know, we do have some some older stuff back here. And then just a bunch of bulk back there. But now I'm going to go into all of these hollows for whoever would like them. If anybody would like to get this lot before I go and throw them all on eBay. Because I'm going to sort out all that bulk and eventually throw them all on eBay. Let's see what we got here. So the first card that we have here is this Muck. Or so that's a muck. I don't know why I was looking at this muck here. This is a Doug Trio. So I'm trying to have the under the light so you can really see any scratches or anything on it. Just really get the real condition of the card. The front looks pretty clean. It's a little bit white on the back. But the front looks really clean on this Doug Trio. So most of these cards. Are not in really that great of shape. The last last lot that I got was definitely more mint, or more, like more like near mint cards. I want to say this: if you wanted to like put it the whole lot, I'd say the entire lot is is lightly played. So most some near mint, but the entire lot from what I looked really is that they look like they're pretty much lightly played. Some heavy played. So it looks like a, like a scratch. I don't know if that's a scratch or print line here on the superior. I'm trying to get it. You can't really see it on the camera. So the front looks pretty clean on this. Just like a like a weird line right there, a print line on it, I guess. Just a little bit of whitening on the side. And on the side here. So this is superior. This says 2011. So this is a little later. It's most of these cards here I'm looking at says 2006. Something 2004. You yeah, most of like 2006, 2007. So this is superior here. I'm going to start stacking these and putting them in sleeves as I put them off to the side. And let's get, keep going here. Here we have this Deoxys card. 2006. Let's get a better look under the light. Yeah, this is pretty scratched up here on the hollow. Just a little bit of scratches on the hollow, but the front sides that looks pretty clean. Uh, just a little bit of white here on the sides and a little bit on the top there too. But yeah, actually this, yeah, this whole, this back is not too clean on this Deoxys. So yeah, I have no idea what literally at, at all the value of any of these cards. After I go and I sort this lot here, so I'm going and I'm putting them all on sleeves and putting them to the side. I'm going to go and, and really research every single one of these cards and, you know, obviously figure out what the price is that I want. If, I, if somebody wants to take the entire lot, if I want to piece them out and really see what's going on with these, because I really don't know. So these for alligator, this one is heavily played. You can see there's a bunch of scratches. This too is a big bent. You can definitely tell that these were stored in binder. These two for alligators are just the, uh, these are beat up. Put those off to the side. Even, even the beat-up ones, we're still going to throw them in sleeves, actually. Might as well, right? Because eventually we're going to throw everything in sleeves. Once I ship them out. Start getting them into a pile here. Really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Whoever checks them out each day. I do upload every single day. If you guys aren't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can see back there. has some hidden fakes tins. And also, one of the power collections... That giveaway will be at 2,000 subscribers, but this one, one of these boxes back here, these Hidden Fates Premium Power Collections, one of those will be given away at 1,000 subscribers, so that's coming up soon. Definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't yet. So this can bust in, yeah, see this one heavily played as well, look at that. It's unfortunate. Yeah, this back is messed up too, this one is just not, not a good card. That's definitely a... Uh, HP right there, heavily played. So we're going to keep more of the heavier played ones. I'm going to keep them in a different pile over here on the side. 
just so I know how to really differentiate. All right, the next card that we have here, we have a cloister. This is from Dragon Frontiers, it says here. Unfortunately, there's a little, it's a bend there. This is definitely a classified as heavy plate again. Back, not too bad. Just a little bit in the corners. But yeah, this card is a little bit uh, chopped, if I would say. Put that in the heavy plate pile. So yeah, I'm going to keep them two different piles, like pretty much near man, lightly played, and then heavy played. Here's another Crystal Guardians, and this one's yeah, chopped up too. This one's heavy played, Sableye, 2006. Check out the back on this card. Oh, this one is beat up. This, part, this is the worst shape one yet. All right, what do we got here? Here we have a Krabby, and this one bent up too. All right, I'm checking in a run. No, no more that are really that bent, at least coming up soon. So here we have Mr. Stone's Project, Dragon Frontier 2006. This card seems to be in pretty good shape. It's a little bit of scratch, like a little scratch right here on the hollow. Some white along the edges here. This one's not too bad. Get this guy right into his sleeve. I like that Raichu in the back there. Look at him. Ooh. All right. Get that right into his sleeve. Next card. What do we have here? It's 2007 Pachirisu. Oh, this one's scratched up on the hollow. Yeah, you see that? This one's bad scratched. This is a promo, actually. Wow, I didn't even know that. This is a promo card. Back's a little beat up. So yeah, this entire lot will be for sale. Um, the only card that came in here that was super mint and that's really nice that I'm definitely keeping is the Charizard. So there was a dark Charizard that was uh, not too bad of shape. So it's a little bit off-centered, unfortunately. Uh, here's the next card. We have a Chimchar. It's pretty beat up. This one's definitely heavy play too. Scratches. And definitely uh, some binder wear. You can definitely tell. Yeah, the back is messed up on this too. Go into the heavy play pile, that guy will go. All right, so next card, we have a Celio. Power Keepers. The front on this one is actually pretty clean. This one's not too bad. Uh, the back's a little bad. Uh, the back's got the corner. A little bit of the whitening in the corners. There's actually another one of these Celios right here. Let's grab this one. What does this one look like? This Celio too. It's not too bad. Uh, actually, here on the corner, look at this. Uh, there's bends on this one. So this one's going to go in the heavy plate pile. Celio. This one I'll put in the light plate. This one's not too bad. All right, let's go on the end here. We have the Ho-Oh. So this one is 2007. Do not know what set this is from. Uh, scratchy, pretty scratchy on the hollow. Check the back out. Got some whitening along the edges. On the left side, on the top, in the corners. So yeah, this, uh, this one's definitely heavy played. It's a nice card though. I like this artwork. Get that into the heavy plate pile. That just keeps on growing over here. So hopefully uh, some of these cards are more lightly played. But as you can see, uh, a lot of these are pretty beat up. Honestly, I did get this card. This yeah, this one's heavy plate too. I got this lot mostly just for the bulk. Because I've seen there was a lot of bulk in it. So I'm hoping the bulk is in at least decent shape. And, uh, and the Dark Charizard. So I, I got it for a decent price. So I was like, alright. Might as well get the bulk. Because I am starting to just start uh, listing some bulk on eBay. Trying to get into something like that. So let's see this next card here. We have a Blaziken. There's some scratches on the hollow. The rest of the front looks pretty clean though. See the back. 
that bottom right's bad, but the, the rest isn't too bad. A little bit of whitening. We'll, we'll put this in the alright pile. They're not too bad. Not too shabby. So what do we have here? This is a heavy play. This one is beat up. It's a Garchomp X. Level X? 2008 it said. Never even seen this card before, honestly. Did love Garchomp in that set, though. Heck, he was so OP back then, I used to love using Garchomp. Empoleon, this one scratched up on the hollow. 2007, yeah, this card's all on the sides, too. Definitely tell some binder wear. Along the corners here, too. So, yeah, this one is, uh, we're gonna go heavy plate on this Empoleon. Right here we have Zatu. This is from Unseen Forces, and unfortunately, we got some unseen <laughs> some creases in this. Yeah, so this one's beat up. Look at the back on that one. That one's beat up. It's a nice artwork, though. I love, I love Zatu. Natu and Zatu are both awesome. I loved them when I was a kid, too. I always loved them. It's unknown. Tiny bit of scratches here on the hollow. Yeah. This one says 2005. All around the edges, too, is a bit of whitening. So, yeah, this one's definitely heavy plate as well. All right. So, the next card here we have Mew. This one, 2006. This is also a promo card. It says down here on the bottom right. Oh, unfortunately, it's a big crease in that. This one's no good. All right, to the next card here. So we have a Grovile from Crystal Guardians. The front on this one actually looks good. It's a little bit of like a scratch, or looks like a, a print line or a scratch. Oh, let's see. Yeah, there's some scratches on this hollow on the front. So let's check the back. It's a bit of whitening on the back. Yeah, that one's not not heavy played, not super heavy played, so we'll put that in the R.I. pile. Here we have a Reggie Gigas. Unfortunately, there's a crease. There's a lot of these cards with creases in it. I wonder if they were just thrown around in their binder. Random little creases on the side. Next card we have here is a Sunflora. From Unseen Forces. Yeah, a little crease here again. Look at the, the, front, the bottom here. Yeah, this one's beat up. This one's definitely heavy played. So yeah, I knew going into this that mo most of these were going to be heavy played. I'm happy because they said that the... This one exactly too. They said that the Charizard was going to be near mint condition. It actually was near mint. And I was actually surprised it was. Like the, the, I mean, the Charizard, they said it was mint. It's definitely... I don't know about mint. I'd say if I grade it, I'd probably get it an 8 max. Just because it's off-centered, that's why, unfortunately. Because it is actually in good shape, but it's off-centered. This Mighty Ender has also got a crack in it. Looks like a crack. It might as well be a crack. It's just really big creases. This next card we have here is a Latias. This one is Delta Species. And again, unfortunately, it's just a bunch of crap. They really look like cracks. It looks like literally a crack in the card, like if it were to... If you just grab it and it just crack. Why can't I see this? Hello? There we go. Next card is Tepig. So this is 2011. Wow, this hollow is actually pretty clean. Oh, unfortunately up here, the scratch there. The rest of this card is not bad though. It's a little bit of white. We'll put that in the alright pile. These next two cards, or three cards actually, four, actually all of these cards in a row are my favorite cards that I've seen here. Look at these artwork. This is cool. I've never seen this before. 2004. This is a Dark Celebi. This is right after I got out of Pokemon. So this hollow is actually not bad on this. Uh, there are some scratches actually on these hollows. 
The rest of the front is good. Oh, the back is not that good. Man, I was hoping that these, just because they look so cool, I was really hoping that these would be in great shape. That one's not too bad, though. Like, look at this Squirtle art. How have I never seen this? Look how cool this is. Bit of scratches on the hollows. It's 2004. I gotta figure out what set this is immediately. This set is cool. The Squirtle with the, the other Squirtle in the lake. Like what? It's actually an awesome car. Next car we have here. Rayquaza. Oh, of course it's a bad crease in it. That's 2006 that card says. Here we have a Latios. Unfortunately, there's some damage here. I don't know. It's like just coming off the card. Like the, it's almost like the hollow foil. Once the, the front is, can I see that on the cam? Yeah, look, see, just some damage here. That's unfortunate because the hollow is actually not that bad on this card. How does it get that damage on the side but not on the hollow? So we have a low tad from. EX Deoxys. And this one looks pretty bad. Not bad. Little nick down here. See that? On the back is not too great on this. Yeah, on the front too, actually. Look at that. That's unfortunate. I've actually heard this. Uh, I've heard this set get hyped up recently. I forget where. I've heard this a couple times, actually, recently. The EX Deoxys. I think because the booster boxes have been skyrocketing on a lot of these sets. Here we have a Gallade. Some scratches on the hollows from 2009, it says. The back's not too bad on this one. We'll put that in the uh, not-too-crappy pile. Next car here, we have a Minoon. Scratchy on the hollow. Ooh, super scratchy. 2006. Back isn't too bad. A little bit like dent here. I'm a little bit of whitening on the right. So that's going in the crappy pile. So yeah, I'm going to sort this bulk right after. You can see it. I have it all right back there. I've sorted a lot of my other bulk here. We have a Credilly with a crease in the top. So this is heavy played. But yeah, I'm going to sort through this bulk. see exactly i see some first editions back there so i'm hoping uh i'm hoping there's a lot of a bunch of older cards because there's not really you know a lot of these are you know older um like sets when i talk about older like coming out older but i, I guess coming out later because they count in 2007 older in time i meant because there's, you know, there's only two hollows here from was a I can't even see the other one there's a clefairy there's a really beat up a champ first edition everyone had one of these because they came in the starter kit but the thing is, I see a lot of older bulk back there. So I wonder if this was somebody that just kept... Like, I wonder if they have a bunch of other cards or... Like, a bunch of other hollows. Or they got or somebody got rid of their hollows years ago. Look how bad that one scratched up. There's a reason that these cards are so hard to grade. Because look how bad that gets scratched up just from being... Like, that pinky white background. Alright, we have a Numel here. From Holland Phantoms. This one's actually in not bad shape. This one looks good. The front looks good. Just the corners. The bottom one's not too bad, but this one is uh, not too crappy. We're gonna we'll put that in that pile. Next card we have here, Claydol again, Holland Phantoms. The hollow looks all right on this. A little bit of scratch, little scratchy. You can tell the binder wear. Oh, the back is chopped on this one. The back is not that great. All right, we'll separate that. Put that in the that pile. What do we have here? Magnemite. And this is from Legend Maker. I'm looking here under the light. There is some scratches on the hollow. A little bit of nicks. And then the whitening. Whitening on the back is a killer on this set. This uh, lot here. Only a few of these backs and fronts actually have really been like solid. Here we have a Nuzleaf. From Power Keeper? Is this even a hollow? Yeah, it is. 
Nuzleaf from Power Keepers. Front, yeah, it's all right. In the back, it's chopped up like the other ones. We're going to put that into a sleeve. Three cards left. Let's see what we got here. We got a Shup It. Oh, and unfortunately, we got a crease here on the left. So that automatically goes into the eh pile. Like, these are really cool cards. I just wish they were in a bit of better shape. They're really, like, a lot of them are super dope. Like, a lot of these old these sets that came out later are really cool. Like this, too. Like, this Roselia, but I know this is 2003. This is actually Expedition. Or, like, an E-Series card. Sorry. But, unfortunately, I got that crease right there. And the last card to check out we have here. Another Minoon. Not too, not too bad on the hollow, but of course, there's these creases here, unfortunately. So that's all the cards. I'm going to go through now again the cards that are at least in our right condition. And then the rest that are heavy played, you, you've seen through. So the ones that are at least in our right condition, we have this Numel, this Gallade, Stark Celebi, Tepig, Grovile, Blaziken, Celio, Mr. Stone's Project, Deoxys, Superior, and the Dugtria. The rest are pretty chopped up, but they're still in our right shape from what you've seen here. So let me know if you want them before I throw them on eBay. Make sure to reach out to me on Instagram at Vintage Pokemon Hunter. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Make sure to check me out for daily content. Have a good one.